Welcome again to Golf Weekly, where each week we check out the latest in golf technology, equipment, apparel, and experiences. Earlier this year, we outlined our favorite push carts for 2020, and this week we check out the latest innovation in electric push carts and how the market and demand is evolving. We quickly wanted to remind you of our Golf Weekly giveaway, where we will be giving away golf balls, golf gloves, and a grand prize of a $100 gift card. Entry is simple. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, and comment giveaway entry in the comments below. If you're part of the vast majority who doesn't have the luxury of a caddy to carry your bag, you might feel happy to learn that the electric pushcart technology has evolved to a level that might make you feel like a member at the most luxurious golf club in your area. The following options we are going to review portray some amazing technology, such as the push cart will follow you as you walk, GPS enabled, keeping track of your steps, and much more. Stay until the end of this video as we have some additional tips to consider when purchasing an electric push cart. The three biggest factors to weigh in on when thinking about purchasing an electric push cart are maneuverability, stability, and battery life. Some models are designed to follow you wherever you go, so if you think that might be a problem at your course, think about a remote controlled option. Stability is important because you need to find an option that can handle uneven terrain on its own. Finally, battery life will surface two main options, that's lead, acid, or lithium. We found that lithium batteries provide longer running life and can keep your cart rolling for 27 plus holes, but are much more expensive. Let's jump into our list. We'll start off our list with the Club Booster V2 by Alfred Golf which turns your normal push cart into a premium electric push cart that can be controlled via remote or follow you via a magnetic smart tether system. It rolls over bumps, goes up and down hills and carries your golf bag through the entire course. Converting your push cart really takes about 15 to 20 minutes and you simply remove the existing back wheels and install the included brackets. Club Booster V2 includes all the features in a premium electric caddy at a fraction of the price. An integrated six axis gyroscope detects the terrain of the golf course every 10 milliseconds. The gyroscope keeps your cart going at the right speeds in the right areas and prevents unwanted deviations or tumbles as you walk the course. The club booster includes an electric parking brake, distance timer, where you can send your clubs ahead 15 or 30 yards forward. The lithium ion battery is guaranteed to last 500 charging cycles and is completely weatherproof and water resistant. There's also an app you can download to your smartphone where you can customize your settings as well as it can act as a backup remote. The V2 Booster is a great option if you want the electric push cart technology without the price coming in at $800. Next on our list is the Moto Caddy M7 Remote. When it comes to remote controlled electric carts, you would think they are hard to set up, but that is definitely not the case for the M7 remote. The remote control will make steering this push cart very simple with nine different speed settings and can easily switch to manual mode when needed. The Moto Caddy has the ability to maneuver tight turns and offers an extra back wheel to prevent tipping. A helpful feature for durability of the lithium ion battery is that it is completely water and dust proof. The push cart folds down to surprisingly compact in size, which is great for storage, and there's even a kickstand that allows you to store vertically if that's preferred. One cool feature is that it also offers a USB port to charge your electric devices during play. This particular electric cart does not have a follow mode, so if that is something you are looking for, check out other options on this list. The Moto Caddy M7 offers a ton of accessories to add on to the cart, but the base unit costs $1,500 to take one home. Next on our list is the MGI Zip Navigator Remote. The Zip Navigator Remote stops and starts on a dime. The full directional remote control allows for left, right, forward, reverse, and speed control. It has multiple speed levels and no matter which speed you choose, the rear wheel keeps it balanced. The slim compact design folds down to a small storage size as well. You can also use it as a fitness tracking device as the push cart tells you how far you've walked at the end of the round. The patented gyroscope straight tracker technology keeps the caddy on track across any terrain you might encounter. The wheels offer an all terrain tread and the front wheel swivels for great maneuverability. The 24 volt lithium ion battery will last a full two rounds on a single charge so it has superb battery life. MGI Zip series electric push carts are ideally suited to fit part bags so just know that not all stand or carry bags are compatible. 
The MGI Pushcart, just like the Moto Caddy, does not offer a follow mode. The Zip Navigator Remote comes in two different color options and will cost you just under $1,500 to take one home. Next on our list is the Stewart X9 Follow. The X9 Follow is widely considered one of the best electric push carts available on the market today. As the name dictates, the X9 offers three modes, manual, remote, and follow. The X9 allows you to walk the fairway hands and worry free while your golf cart follows two paces behind you. When you're not on the fairway, simply engage remote mode and walk straight to your ball, saving energy, time, and concentration. The hands-free modes utilize a Bluetooth connection that you don't have to fumble around with. It connects quickly with the touch of a button. When you take the lithium battery out of the box, it requires a charge that will usually take about four hours. The Stewart X9 Follow electric cart looks great, and the automated features make the cart a great alternative to paying for a caddy. While the sticker price is a bit pricey, it is well worth it if you play often and want to walk. The Stewart X9 Follow offers three color options to choose from, and right now you can get a free umbrella holder and drink holder with purchase. The X9 Follow will cost you $2,500 to take one home, and financing is available. Last on our list is Foresight Sports 4 Caddy. The 4 Caddy is a smart electric golf push cart manufactured by one of the leaders in golf simulator technology. The 4 Caddy comes with four different modes of operation with manual, power assist, remote control, and follow. The remote control is sleek and extremely easy to use and control the push cart. The 4 Caddy is easy to bring with you on the go and collapses with the press of two buttons. The battery life is excellent and lasts for over two rounds in a single charge. The 4 Caddy comes with accessories like a ball and scorecard holder phone charger, and much more. The 4Caddy comes in one color and costs $22.49 to bring one home. Finally, as promised, we wanted to provide some value and here are some tips to consider when purchasing an electric push cart. Even in this relatively new category, there are a variety of features available. As with anything else, look for a cart that gives you what you need without overcharging for features you don't. Powered push carts with 360 degree rotation wheels make turning on a dime much easier. If you are a golfer who uses a stand bag, you'll want to verify that the cart can hold your bag and have it remain upright throughout your round. And finally, when purchasing an electric push cart, verify the manufacturer has a local or easy to access online distributor. It can make getting your cart repaired or obtaining replacement parts significantly easier. Finally, we quickly wanted to remind you of our Golf Weekly giveaway, where we will be giving away golf balls, golf gloves, and a grand prize of a $100 gift card. Entry is simple. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, and comment giveaway entry in the comments below.